Welcome in to Barnyard Garage. As you can see, I got my 2015 Chevy Silverado grill up on the lift. And the reason why is I'm going to do a little work to it. I bought this LED off road light. It's a 32 inch curb. And I'm going to mount it right there to those cross uh, braces that go up to my hood latch. And it's going to be sitting right behind the grill. I'm doing that. I've also got some. Uh, let me get it out. box of goodies. I've got these small LED marker lights which are going to go right in here. I'm going to do that. And some more LED lights. These right here that are going to go under the rear bumper with some uh, extra reverse lights. And in that box down there are rocker panel lights. They're uh, LED rocker panel lights, amber for uh, marker lights, and then when I uh, unlock the door. I'm going to help to clear into my reverse light so when I unlock the door they will come on so you can see when you get up into the truck. So I'm not going to video this whole thing. It's probably going to take me a couple days to run all the wires and everything. But uh, I will check in once in a while and when it's all done I will uh, show you guys what it looks like. Okay, until then, on now. Hey guys, as you can see, it's dark out, but I got the uh, LED light bar mounted. A little stainless steel bolts right through that bracket on both sides. And I ran the wire up under the hood here for now and just coiled it up. So tomorrow I'll get that wired into the cab. And I also put the marker lights inside the bumper, which the bumper is upside down on the bench. So I just pour on this side. Didn't do none across the front because it's kind of on a weird angle. You wouldn't be able to see it anyway. So I just pour on that side. And I soldered all the wires. And I taped them up. Put them in wire loom, ran them all the way underneath, behind those bolts. And the same on the other side. And then I ran the power feed through here to here, which is going to go up to the marker lights in the headlights. So when you pull your headlights on or your parking lights on, they will come on. So that's tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to get the grill outside and I'll show you the the fire department lights I put in there. There's the grill and there are the blue fire department lights. One here and one on the other side. And they're just screwed right in with little stainless steel screws. And ran the wire in the back and that's also going to go up into the cab to a switch. So that's going to be it for tonight. I'm tired. I'm going to hop in the shower. So uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, guys. See you later. Guys, mm -hmm. so I'm working on the uh, switches for the truck. And I bought these 
of Amazon. And, uh, got a little LED light, just a regular on off LED light. I think I got like uh, eight or nine of them for like 10 bucks or something like that. So what I did is I took off this cover off my overhead console and I went and I put the switches in there. I'm only going to need three, but I put an extra in case I add something else. You never know. What I did, I marked my center line, measured in, and uh, filled a three quarter hole, which it was still a little too tight, so I had to take a rat tail file and just go around it a little bit to get them to snap in nice. It feels pretty nice. We'll see. Probably going to end up putting a relay in it also, you know, so. Okay, I'm going to get this back in the truck and uh, start doing some wiring. Okay, so I got the switches in. It looks good. It matches the black switch there for my door and uh, on and off for my courtesy lights. I was going to put two of them right up in here, but then there was no place for the third one, so I ended up just... Putting them up there. I think it looks good there. Well, what do you guys think? Kind of blends in. So, okay, I'm gonna get wiring and start running some wires. And when I get everything all done, uh, I'll show you the uh, finished product. Okay, so I got the truck all back together. I think it came out pretty nice. There's the lights under the bumper LED off-road light behind the grill fire department lights painting my tow hooks red and on the side of the running boards the LED strip that goes the whole length and uh, they are running lights amber for running lights when I unlock my door they light up clear to light up the uh, step and I could also hook it into my blinkers but I didn't do that I didn't want them blinking on the side so I got them all hooked up I ran them wires all the way back to the tail light And I got a bar light under the tailgate, which I had that on there for a while. And then off my uh, backup lights that I mounted under the bumper that I got hooked to a switch so I can turn them on at night when I hook up my trailer. Of course, you guys probably already seen the pinstripe. So inside. Got the switches up on the overhead console. Uh, let me find my key. Okay, so. So this first switch. LED light in there is my uh, blue lights. Second switch is my off-road light behind the grill. And the third switch is the uh, backup lights. And I just put a fourth one in because I had room and brought the wire down the A post and tucked it up under the dash in case I had something. Um, else and I did the wiring right everything's all soldered wrapped up in wire loom uh, I don't know if you guys if I told you guys but I I work for the local police and what I do is put cop cars together all the wiring for the lights sirens computers cameras printers so uh, I take a plain car and make it a make it a police car 
Well, that's what I do mostly is all wiring. So, everything's heat shrunk, soldered. There's the amber lights, my running lights on the side. One's under the bumper. Across the other side. Okay, so I'm going to set the camera up and so you can see I'll turn on my fire lights and And my off-road light in the front. A little far away, but I sure you can still see it. Walk around to the back and I put on the, uh, the backup work lights. They're pretty bright. That's going to be nice hooking up the trailer at night. So let me shut the truck off. And there is my clear light. See the rocket panel's nice at night when you get out. When you lock it. Now they time out after a little while. Almost fell. Any day. There they go. And say you're in the parking lot at night and you want to unlock the door. The door unlocks and lights light up to uh, see where you're stepping. Okay guys, so that's the little upgrade on a 2015 Chevy Silverado. Uh, I was going to like video everything of me where I soldered the wires, where I tapped in and all that stuff so but it would have been too long and once I get going I get uh, I get in a zone with all my solder in and heat shrink and I just keep going but if you have any questions of how I did it leave a comment I'll be glad to tell you how I done it so okay, that's it for the 2015 Silverado light update if you like what you see please hit the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do maybe hit the little bell that will give you notifications when I put more videos up and uh, hey okay guys have a good night boneyards out